Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I've got another pretty fun guitar review for you um, in comparison because we all know I love comparing guitars and I'm going to start branching into picks, strings, microphones, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, this is a pretty special guitar for me. It is a 1989 Guild GF. 50. So that's Sitka spruce top, rosewood back and sides, mahogany neck, um, ebony fretboard bridge. This guitar is like kind of my perfect shape, that mini jumbo that I've kind of, you know, talked about before in other videos. This guitar has actually been my office work guitar for the last probably year and a half um it literally just lives in the case underneath my desk at work and i just leave it there so when i get five minutes or something you know in between phone calls or emails you know i'll pop it out jam a little bit if i need to work on something while i'm there you know and it's just been an amazing guitar i found this on marketplace Somebody was moving, um, it was an older couple, they were moving over to Arizona and didn't want to take it with them. So it had been kept in the basement for probably 20 something years. And so it needed some work done to it and all that was done and it is just now a phenomenal guitar. Unfortunately, Guild stopped making the you know smaller jumbos which hopefully Cordoba Guild if you're listening bring back bring it back please um I love this guitar and it's the same as the F44 in one of my previous videos it's the same construction this um towards the tail end of production this GF50 is the exact same you know, series that George Grun designed and started with the F44 that I have, which leads me to my biggest kind of thing about this video is the rosewood versus maple. So they are identical built guitars, same factory, same bracing. <clears throat> Other than the inlays and appointments on the F44, it is the exact same. Sitka top, 16 inch lower bout, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge. Um, both of these guitars have been redone with bone nuts and saddles, bone bridge pins, same strings, everything. So what I get to bring to you sonically with this comparison is really just the maple versus rosewood. And what I see and hear a lot in forums and other videos, not all videos, I've seen some really good ones about maple as a tone wood, but everybody still has this, you know, misconception that, oh, maple's bright. It's a bright tone wood. Now it's gonna make the guitar sound bright. And on some guitars, it does, but technically maple is really just a neutral tone wood. It does not really color the sound of the soundboard hardly at all. So whereas mahogany gives you that kind of mid forward woody tone and rosewood is supposed to give you that shimmering highs and deep rich bass with kind of that scooped mid sound maple is just letting that top resonate and shine so without further ado i will stop talking <laughs>
Well, there it is. Uh, quick comparison, quick rundown of the GF50 Sitka with Rosewood, small jumbo, made by Guild in the 80s. Uh, if you can find one, they're starting to become a little bit hard to find, even on Reverb. Uh, if you can find one, grab one. They're amazing guitars, kind of that Swiss Army knife, do everything. Um, kind of reminds me of the Larabe L09. Um, I've heard really good things about the Martin M36. I've yet to play one of those. But just impeccable guitars, and I've been on the fence about this one. You know, maybe letting it go, exploring, finding another guitar that I might want to try out. Um, but that F44, that's, that's sticking with me for a while. Anyway, drop a comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, let me know what you want to see next. As always, have a great night. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.